Now with the two layers of information, the parts and the uh, units selected, what I've done is that basically I've done four, four different things, uh, and these four slides are going to show the units that I've selected and why I superimpose this flying star chart on the right. Uh, credits to Joey, Joey Yap for providing this thing and in the end what I came up with is this conclusion so for example one of the units that I chose is si unit 637 637 is here yes this one the yellow one I'll put the orange this okay 637 it turned out to be like that and because it faces southeast and how do I know whether is this southeast 2 or southeast 3 uh, within the southeast the period 8 chart only has two types one that's facing southeast 1 the other one is facing southeast 2 southeast 3 uh, would there be some differences yes but just for the sake of uh, presenting Okay, there's I'm assuming a general direction that is going to be facing at southeast too. Thus, exact measurements will need to be done, taken when the building is almost like uh, fixed. So I'm just going to keep it to southeast too. And since this person wanted health and health. It's going to be co corresponding to the Sun Chi Life Generating Sector, the TNE sectors. West and North East will be important to him, and that's how I look at it. So, first thing, I want to make sure that the areas that he has most concern is not missing anything. So, missing things can be like this part, this area, just uh, outside the uh, living room, this part, aircon latch. So since west and northeast, west and northeast, yep, he can. But then, because the west sector is missing for him, so thus unit six three seven out. How we're gonna do it is that yes, same concept. Got to see what are the uh, areas that are missing. Okay, next would be the flying flying star. So the second slide we have unit five six seven and five nine five. Five six seven and five nine five. Oh, it was supposed to be at down here at the bottom just now. Okay, and I this decoded that it's uh, at northwest one. So let's same thing. Look at the west for the 567. It's in the main bedroom. Okay, so probably when this person takes a unit 567, he needs to designate main room to be probably a working room. Then the northeast 1 and 3, which is available. So 567 seems like very good because the sectors are available, meaning that he is able to use those spaces whereas if you choose 595 which in fact is like a unit on the right side the west side has some missing sectors this means that he doesn't have those areas to use to maximize okay so 567 is, is the top pick right now then followed by 551 5103 we have the west, the west itself, okay, uh, it's missing because the living room is missing a little, okay, and for the north, it is here in the kitchen, northeast. So this part, yeah. This part maybe five six seven still ranks the first. 
followed by the last one which is the 501 which is like a left uh, the unit 501 is like a, having an orientation like the le left side and the right side 89 okay. yeah 89 627-629-503 which is uh, the rest 89 627 629 89 627 629 down here uh, 501 and 503 it's here right since the west is this part left can't use because west side is here missing sector I won't use that anymore the west side is at the main door and the north east okay so now it's only left with this or this right so two nine one one two three as west one seven four north east two five eight so basically when the consideration is for Sun Chi because it's more active work we want to look at the facing star which is on the right and for Team E you want to look it at the left so since uh, for the west you have 4 here okay 4 here as compared to west you have the 2 here right so now in fact i think i will want to choose one th this four because the star four also represents academ academy academic uh, pursuits so probably this is the these are the few units that i want to choose for him okay then for the health which is in his north east we have star eight and this unit north east we have star one so both are good right but since it's like a matrix uh, it's like doing a weighted score it seems like I would choose 89 627 629 503 as the preferred uh, units that I will choose so basically this is the framework that how I first select a home of course as a point of recording 21st March 2019 there's still going to be like 40 years of experience that's going to come um, and I just got the four steps framework one uh, how I'm going to do it how I'm going to do subsequent consults would be one I need to get this star map right uh, right now we're in the period 8 soon we'll be going to period 9 then which facing or which facings of the home does these homes have then next print the floor plan of the 4 room flat unit or whichever flat that they want then when it's regarding health we look at the TNE if it's regarding wealth we need to look at the sun sheet we also need to see what are the stars inside so basically one four six eight nine are preferable stars that we want to have if it's for uh, money related then you look at the facing star if it's for health related or people related you'll be looking at the sitting star which is on the left this is a nutshell of how i did my selection for home implantation growth and you happen to be buying a home implantation growth you can always uh, I don't know maybe if I'm posting this on Facebook you can always uh, hit me up drop me a message and see hey uh, what other things uh, do you need to take note in a nutshell Feng Shui external landforms 70% internal landforms 30%